Hey guys, it is Charles Almighty Wraith of Game Warriors Gaming for a Cause, and we are celebrating the life of my brother, Jeremy Halton, um, and giving words of encouragement to people. So, I met Jeremy years ago, um, and watched him grow from an arrogant little boy that I felt was not good enough for my kid sister to uh, uh, someone that I was very proud to call my brother, very proud of um, everything that he had accomplished and everything. And that um, he was a wonderful husband and father. Um, and, you know, he was with me when I started Game Warriors when it was just a group of us getting together playing games and um he helped me to take it from something that we did to battle boredom to helping raise money for so many different people um and so many different causes um and that's the legacy that he left with me was doing something for someone else. Um, I was so glad to see him get into church and, you know, get focused on helping others. And he, he did so much for his, uh, for his family and his community. He is greatly missed. Um, and, but we know that he lives on uh, in all of us, in our memories and everything that we do. Um, I would encourage anyone that is going through what we went through, um, to just pull together, um, speak life in to each other, doing, focusing on, because with Jeremy, he, he didn't want to focus on his life ending. He wanted to focus on his family, his kids his wife, his, his community. He, he was staying positive in, in everything. He was, I remember a conversation that me and him had where we, I was asking him how he felt and you could tell that the cancer had ravished his body and he, he was taking everything he could to, to stand there. But he had a smile on his face and he stated that he'd already outlived what the doctors told him. So every day was a gift from God. And it, <clears throat> it meant so much to me because so often we get to where we're just, we got a flu. Or we just don't feel good. We run down and then it, to us, it feels like the end of the world. But here, here was my brother who was faced with a life-threatening illness, and until the very end, he 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 tried his best to stay positive and keep going. And guys, um, I encourage you to do the same. That each day is a gift. Speak life into those around you, and let the past be the past and move forward. Um, hey, I'm Heather. I'm Jeremy's wife. Married for 14 years. The last year and a half to two years of his life, all he wanted to do was get people into church and closer to God. Anybody that knew him from back in the day knew that he was not a churchgoer. But something changed inside of him right before we found out he was sick. And it continued to change throughout his battle. We found out roughly 16 months ago, or well, his battle was 16 months long that we found out. Um, next month will be two years that we found out. And Jeremy never had the victim mentality. He kept a strong head, strong heart, you know, he was a fighter, and 
that's all I can really say. Anybody that's going through this, that's battling cancer or any other sickness, is your mindset has so much to do with your fight, your battle. It doesn't matter the medicines, the drugs, the, you know, whatever. If you don't have the mindset that you're going to come out of this on top, then it's, you're not going to get very far. That's what got my husband. Got. Um, we love and miss him dearly, but one of the things that we didn't talk about, I'm dying often. But one of the things we did talk about is he wanted us to continue life. He wanted, he didn't want us at his grave. He didn't want us crying over him. You know, he tried to make the most out of life. He leaves behind his three girls. And all he wanted for them was to keep going and to keep his mother alive. And one way to do that is through Game Warriors, through St. Jude, you know, help raise awareness, money, and anything you can to fight to find a cure. Um, but even with all the medicine and Without God and without the love and support of the family, those played key factors in his fight. And he never gave up. Do not, do not give up. Do not sit there um, and just think, oh, well, this is it. Because God has a bigger plan for you. All right. State your name and your relationship with Jeremy. Um, my name's Kaylee Halton, and Jeremy was my dad. Okay. Um, it goes without saying that your dad meant a lot to you, but something that you can talk out most to you about him. Um, his desire to never quit. Um, if... You could say one thing to someone that has that is going through what you went through in the last year. What would that be? Um, <laughs> um Tom? don't shove away your friends and family because they'll be there for you and don't really keep to yourself. It'd be a lot easier if you have somebody to talk to. Um, you know, uh, with Game Wars, they take the turn. Um, and we have kind of just called it a few tournament. I'll call the Chuck Rocks 1980 Memorial Tournament. So, is there anything you would like to say to encourage people to help uh, St. Jude? Um, it, it would be really nice for and great for people to play in it because donations, right? Mm -hmm. Um, all the donations go to St. Jude, the really big facility and function, and it not only helps the kids who go in as patients, it also provides for parents for places for them to stay, and it, it would just be helpful and great if you Because I know... My name's Kylie, and my relationship is I'm his daughter. He He always... He didn't verbally say this, but I knew, but I, but he never actually, uh, he didn't really mind who I was since he was my dad. He always, um, told me to be myself, and if you're going through anything like this, I was told to, to that it's never good to keep anything in and that you should talk to people about it. 
who have on who have probably been through this so that you will have and know that you have people who can help you get through this. I'm Jennifer Bell. E. Um, we always didn't get along. <laughs> That's when brother in law, father to my we fall harder as ever. Maybe in a night, I knew the odds. But he never gave up. Never. Jeremy didn't act sick. He, you wouldn't have known that he, you weren't one of his close family. Well, still today, tell me I didn't even have kids. Okay, my name is Cindy Hart. I was Jeremy's mother in law. Um, Jeremy was like a son to me. He was here with us since he was nine, ten years old. Um, we really miss him. People need to realize that it's not just the person with cancer going through this. It's their family, too, everybody that loves them, the ones they leave behind. I want to encourage everyone to uh, don't go through this alone. Seek help. Uh, share with your loved ones. Let them know how you feel. Feel bad, tell them. Don't keep it all inside because it's a, everybody goes through it, not just you. Um, we all love and miss Jeremy, which just had not happened. Um, praying every day that there's a cure for cancer so that nobody else has to go through what we're going through, what his little girls are having to go through. Um, just hear me, we love you and we miss you. Hi, I'm Sonia. I am Jeremy's in law, and we're here celebrating his life today. Um, he had a battle with cancer, as most of you know, and he was very strong. Uh, he, at, toward the end of his life, he got really close to God, trying to get more people, you know, in church and about God and have a relationship. And um, we miss him a lot. Not the same without him. Uh, but if if you're going through hard times and cancer, any kind of sickness, that I just encourage you to stay strong and as much time as you can with your friends and um, enjoy them while you can. But anyway. Um, Love and miss Jeremy a lot and there. Hi, my name is Cassie. I was one of Jeremy's nieces. He had a lot of nieces. He was my favorite uncle. He was always very funny. Always like to stay positive, even when he first found out. Throughout the whole, thing. like all of us were stressing, him. Yeah. just hitting us and everything. He just stayed positive. He stayed strong throughout the whole thing, and I think that's why he lasted. That if you're going through something like that, you have to stay positive. Because if you don't, it's not gonna be. You have to think. Life, you have to speak life. Because if you speak negative things, think negative things, you're not going to. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, name? Curtis Hearth. Relationship with Jeremy? Father in law. <laughs> so, um,. What did Jeremy mean to you? A whole lot. He, uh, he was a good dude, good dad, uh, good son-in-law, and went above and beyond the call of duty. Um, if you could say something to someone who might be watching this going through what we went through over the past year and a half, 
um, what advice you, words of encouragement you give them? Be a fighter, don't give up. Uh, what's your name? Kristen. Um, what did Jeremy mean to you? Um, he meant a lot to me. Always like the comic. I don't know. He's always uh easy to be around. But like maybe you didn't like long. I don't know. I don't know how to explain. I'll just say be strong and. What's your name? Alicia Bray. And your relationship to Jeremy? Rand. Okay. Um, what did Jeremy mean to y'all? Jeremy was very positive and caring person. Um, what words of encouragement would you have for someone who is currently going through what we went through as friends and family? Words of encouragement would be just surround yourself with people that love you, know that you have support, and know that, you know, there is somebody that you can always lean on. That you're not alone and you don't have to do it. Now, um, is there anything just from the heart that you can say? Um, I just feel very blessed that I was able to know him from a very young age in my teenage years and watch how he grew into a great husband, father, friend, and a follower in Jesus Christ, which helped me, you know, in a lot of ways to change a lot of things and follow stronger in my faith. Okay. Honor. Relationship. I am his nephew. Or what did Jeremy mean to you? He was. He was a very big IP. He helped me out. He helped Game Warriors out. He helped everyone he knew. He meant a lot to everyone. In closing, I'd like to add that. If you're going through a battle for your life, to reach out to your family and friends and not go at it alone. If you have a family member who is battling for their life, that you pray for them, you stand by them, let bygones be bygones. And you live your each day like it was your last. I encourage you to reach out to those in your life that mean most to you. Never waste an opportunity. Live, laugh, love to the full. I know that this is a bittersweet moment for me because I'm glad to be talking about the great things that Jeremy has done and what he meant to each and every one of us. But it's a sad at the same time because we know he's not here anymore. But he will live on in each and every one of us. 
Thank you for watching our video.